now or never. I call upon the moon and draw you down. If the might of Olympus were sufficient, the gods would have already put an end to their predicament. Time itself is against us, yet this is precisely the time for which we Silver Sisters have prepared. The choice is yours. Phase shift. It is yours. with greater strength. as if fairest Selene herself anointed you. Alas, that she must ride across the night while you're left to your own devices on the ground. like having two legs only the two i'm hideous i know but i don't fall over myself like i once did second nature now scurrying about don't speak that way my task would go much faster if i had legs like yours arachne save your pity for another soul my friend now then i've saved some of my softest silk for you Be well, all right? Siren followers. So that's where they ended up. They once were the torments of many a sailor till I took care of them. Mm. 
This should help. Ahead of the underworld, Princess shall again confront the one who raised her. There's always more to learn. At last. Our enemy's strength even exceeds my own. We're both titans, yes, Kronos and I, but he is my elder, as I am yours. What say you? His age doesn't mean anything to me. The old are seldom wise, and often weak. And he did not study under you, headmistress. Only I have. <laughs> Just so. He is an arrogant old fool. The impression of wisdom comes with age more than the real thing. Remember that. Cross flames burn! Come, sisters of the dead. <laughs> Be generous to you in your descent. Return to shadow now. I prevailed. The Titan. Granddaughter. the members of our family can be. Have you learned nothing from our previous exchange? Oh, I learned plenty, and I'm eager to learn more. So why don't you get out of my way, since there's nothing you can do within these woods but try to slow me down? Past the point of reason and so very self-assured. Then very well. Come find me if you must and learn some more. You know... See you soon. There's that rancid scent. Isn't your domain? Oh. You took me for simple prey. Come 
Watch that one for me. Well done. <laughs> Artemis. Got all the way down to the House of Hades, so I heard. Must be nice having fated authority over the lowest reaches of the underworld. Unless you're Cronin. He was most certainly annoyed. Wields a scythe that's twice my height, surrounds himself with feral satyr worshippers ready to die for him. I'm not surprised it wants to tick both off. No reason to compare yourself. They're high and mighty lords of the heavens and the underworld, but they fought Kronos by necessity. You were trained to do precisely this. For your journey. Very well. Moonlight guide you. Good hunting. communication as best we can, even if it means employing the services of your underworld's boatmen every so often. You were able to reach the House of Hades before me, my lord. Doubtless why that final stretch was clear. You must know I was unable to prevail. Just have to give it another go, won't we? Thank you for your support. She came. Oh, <gasps> surprised? I thought I dealt with you last time, yet here you are. Am I going to have to drive you back into the sea? I don't know, am I going to have to tell Jetty and Roxy to play their hearts out? No, I'm not. Because that's just what they do. Don't you, gals? Finally. 
Another pearl. from a golden bow. For what's mine? These last few nights since you got started, all I managed to confirm is Grant's got hold of someone whom he's sure gives him the upper hand. Right now, he's readying the next stage of his plan to bring this mountain down. I better go. Let's pick up the pace. Should try an incantation back home. <laughs> A withered bow. Wretches for the both of us here any moment now. Let's get started. No time for that. Then let's go. <laughs> the evil eye I gave to you. How sweet. Make your enemies. I'm certain our foes will get what's coming. This eye... Nah. See enough of you as it is. 
Now get out of here before that eye does anything to me. Lightning from on high. That was all of them. get through. It's only me. Who are you, may I ask? Who are you, may I ask? May I ask? May I ask? Well, I can sense you're of no danger to me, so... I am Malinowi. Family business down in Tartarus. And you are... Do I hear an echo? Forget this echo. Won't forget. A deep ravine within the fields of morning spreads forth like a gash across. Need to keep pushing forward out of here. golden coins.
Go now. A little birdie told me you faced the sirens at the bottom of the sea. I know them and their entrancing song only too well. They must have grown bored of dooming sailors to the deep. Your instinct now. Cerberus, come back. Tormenting him, are you? of his thick miasma coat, the triple-headed Cerberus finally relents. Return now to your master and abode. <laughs> Farewell, Fields. See. Hm. Almost there. Just a few chambers to the house. Ah, granddaughter. How kind of you to visit us again. <laughs> I risk straying from the shortest route. What? Greetings, Father. What are you doing here again? I told you, you cannot be here. And I told you I'd be back for you. Though my priority is Kronos. You vanquished him before. Can you reveal to me any weaknesses? Anything at all? I vanquished him with the aid of five other gods. What hope have you alone? He has no weakness, save his arrogance. Then it seems we are equally matched. Father, how long have you been this way? Is there aught I can do? You think I have any sense of time in such a place? And I've said already what you can do. Risk. It won't be for naught.
No traitor to the house shall go unpunished. Melted down. Let me brain about those fancy silver weapons of yours. Trying to sort out who exactly could have made such things. Or when. They're the nocturnal arms, ain't they? Meant only as a last resort, but here we are, I reckon. Fine work as always. even sturdier. This is it. You made it here in all the clamor, Lord. my fingers before, only to return and give to me another opportunity to add you to my collection. Did Athena truly get all the wisdom in our family? Your collection? You speak of your kin as objects to be put on display. The gods ought to have put you on display after cutting you to pieces, instead of... You know, I'm still rather sore about all that. I truly thought my children would be different that they would show their elders some respect. But they did not. And my tolerance has its limits. Child. <laughs> <laughs> 
So then is it? This ends now. of time, but you, how? You'll get no answers from me, and no mercy either. Now die already, and I'll collect the ichor from your veins, or whatever flows through them. <laughs> what is death to the deathless? A mere nuisance. This house is mine. What? I expect so. And you'll be remade and back on the throne before I can return. But I shall return. And I'll slay you again and again and again if I must. Even if, in so doing, it meant that you would never see your dear old family again. Because the mercy I have shown to them thus far is something I may have to reevaluate. family. And what do I care? I don't even know them. But I do know you will be dead here in another moment. Any last words? For you, my girl. the underworld. Nothing but sand. of time. Should have a look around. The gutted grand hall of the former house of Hades eerily lies still. Knowing the immortal titan shall return, the dark princess pursues an object that may be the key to her predicament. It should be in the prince's chamber still. Thus did Melenoe, the underworld's vengeful daughter, Cross the deepest reaches of her realm to thwart her ancient, hateful foe. The Titan, Kronos. Time itself, and time supposedly cannot be stopped. A claim the princess has her reasons to dispute. Hers is a tale that shall withstand time, yet it requires time as well. For now, a cruelly abrupt end shall have to do. Return to Shadow now. Ugh. What just happened? <laughs>